Thank you very much. I am Steve Ben Israel. That's my Christian name. <laughs> and I live here in New York City where I have seances to try and contact the living. <laughs> I was performing in Dusseldorf, Germany, and I did an interview with Dusseldorf Radio, and the guy says, So, Steve, what will you be doing when you go back to America? And I said, Well, I'm working on the chair. He says, what? I said, I'm working on the chair. He says, pardon me, Steve, but what is a chair? I said, in America, we got coat. We need coat chair. <laughs> oh, danger, no culture. And I was performing at the Bitter Zoot in Amsterdam with our son. We do a show together sometimes called Continuity, from hipsters to hip hop. I'm the hipster. So, uh, so just about to go on, you know, the guy's about to introduce me, and he says, "Why don't you improvise something?" I went, "Huh?" So I get introduced. The guy comes out and goes, "Vechede tolstech at the vidat v'tushchene meida of the klova nevesech a berkovol v'al the vidan v'al doma for New York one man show Steve Ben Israel." I go up on the stage and my son says, improvise. And I went, um, well, it's great to be back here in Holland. Every time I come back to America, people say, hey, what's Holland like? And I go, wow. <laughs> and what's Amsterdam like? And I go, wow. He <laughs> says, what, is, what does wow mean? And I went, vechego vechego. And those that come to Holland, vechego, when the father of the Amsterdam, he says, what's that mean? I said, wow. <laughs> it was another hot day in the Big Apple. So upon entering the post office on Canal Street, I took a giant gulp of that sweet, cool air and paid homage to ever invented the air conditioner. <laughs> I was greeted by this long line. There was two windows working and seven closed, and there was one guy at one of these windows, like what seemed forever, and he was getting a lot of heat from everybody else on the line. Five minutes later, I'm six out of about 27, and everybody on the line is doing their waiting in line yoga which you develop after a lifetime of waiting. <laughs> There's those folks who just go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And there's a bunch of toe tappers tapping, tapping. And there's some people who are sighing, looking up high, going, ah. And there are folks who are fortunate to have some reading material but they're always looking at their watches. And there was one woman there who was on her cell phone and writing on a pad, and she was rocking back and forth and tapping her foot <laughs> and sighing, looking up high and going, I'll have to call you back in half hour, I'm gonna be late. And for me, this line for a split second looks like an avant-garde theater company doing its warm-up exercises. <laughs> Now the room was cool, but it was getting hot. And just as the frustration started to peak, I gently and playfully started to chant. We want service. We want service. We want service. And all of a sudden I realized I was just about to make a complete fool out of myself because when you do it alone, they take you away. <laughs> But all of a sudden, this couple from my left joined in. We want service. We want service. Then these three Asian ladies up the line going, We want service. And after about 10 seconds of this, the entire post office is chanting, We want service. We want service. And all of a sudden, these two new windows shot up in sync. <laughs> These two new tellers, almost like a doo-wop group, went, 
next in line. Well, everybody cracked up and gave themselves a round of applause. I'll never forget that night in the late 50s, I went over to my mother and I said, Ma, you know, I think I'm going to become an actor. She said, you're going to become an actor? You can't ride a horse. <laughs> Glenn Ford, he's an actor, he can ride a horse. I said, Ma, that's not a kind of the actor I want to be. She said, sure, you'll be an actor, you'll be a cocktail. <laughs> Let me break that down for you, okay? She should took the word caca, you know the word caca? When you're two years old, your, your mother says, you wanna make a caca? <laughs> if she says that when you're 12, you're in deep shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? So my mother took the word caca, and the word actor, she made this new word called cocktail. And you know, she was absolutely right. <laughs> this summer, a movie rockets to the screen with all the savage splendor of a pagan era, with all the barbaric barbarism of a barbaric era. <laughs> Coming soon, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Sylvester Stallone, Steven Seagal, Wesley Snipes, Jean-Claude Van Damme, Bruce Willis, Samuel L. Jackson, Joe Pesci, Robert De Niro, Christopher Walken, and Harvey Keitel in Fuck you! <laughs> Coming this fall. Fuck you too. <laughs> nice to see some people here I met way back in the uh, 20th century. You go back that far? It's not the blacks, it's not the Jews, it's not the Puerto Ricans, it's not the Haitians, it's not the Asians, it's not the gays, it's not the Germans, it's not the Japanese, it's not the Russians, it's not the Chinese, it's not the Serbs, the Bosnians, or the Croats, it's not the Afghanis, it's not the Iranians, it's not the Iraqis. It's, it's me. <laughs> it's my fault the world's fucked up. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'll get better. You'll get better. <laughs>